So I really want to start with pointing out at the onset that if we are not good at something, it takes a lot of work to get good at something. But today I want to talk about the vicious cycle of not being good at something, not doing anything about it, and then not being good at something because we didn't do anything about it. One of my friends at Easy French told me something that really hit me in the guts. She said, "Ne sois pas trop humble." I didn't realize that this was a problem that I had, <laughs> something that I was struggling with. But I think I'm slowly trying to get away from this. This is probably why I took so much time to learn French when I could have done it way faster. I really did not have the confidence to speak in front of people when my French was already pretty good. I've made a video. You can watch it over here or here. Is it? Tell you about how long I take to learn French. And spoiler alert: it took me a very, very long time. And I think we can cut that time down. I'm not trying to beat you down and say that I have all the methods and you don't, but it's really important to put your finger on it and say this is why, so that the next time it happens, you recognize it and that you do something about it. The idea for me breaks down to the fact that we overestimate other people's skills and we underestimate our own, and this is really harming us because it stops us from working on what we want to excel at. I always beat myself down and tell myself that I'm not good enough. This is huge because everywhere around us we have to we are told to be humble to under speak us under sell ourselves not to be too pompous or proud this is terrible advice when people do realize that you are really good at something then they will appreciate you a little more because you undersold yourself and I've been doing this all my life. So today even when I speak Pretty decent French. If someone comes up and asks me, "Do you speak French?" My go-to response would be, "Well, I'm not Emmanuel Macron, and I can't give a 35-minute speech on something that I haven't prepared on, but I can speak some French." Yeah. <laughs> can you edit a video for me? I'm I'm not pro or anything. I'm not Peter McKinnon. I mean, you know, I I, I can do something. I can I don't know. I'm not, no, I can't really. I'm not that great with video editing now. Hey bro, I'm applying to study at New York. Is there something you can do to help me? A couple of pointers that you can give. Uh, no man, I don't know. I I haven't been to Harvard or Yale or I, I don't know. I'm not the top of my class, valedictorian kind of thing. I I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm no. I, I'm not. I'm not the guy you want. I'm, and to kind of move away from this problem I'm having and to come to a place where I accept that I'm doing something with my life, I'd like to call it the Do you speak Mandarin Chinese rule. So the next time someone asks me something, I'm going to compare it with my prowess in Mandarin Chinese, and here is how it's going to play out. So now if someone asks me if I speak Dutch, instead of saying that, oh no, I don't speak any Dutch, you might as well consider that I'm thin air. I'm not even over here. I'm good for nothing. Just throw me out of the way. <laughs> I ask myself if I can speak Mandarin Chinese. No, I can't. But my Dutch is better than my Mandarin Chinese. <laughs> so it's... if the guy is Dutch, I can already have a Dutch conversation, and he'll probably correct me when I say. Ja, nee, ik ik praat niet zo goed Nederlands, maar ik kan me introduce myself. Ik ga in de boerderij werken deze zomer. En jij praat jij Engels? Praat jij Frans? That's not how you say I can introduce myself. You'd rather say this to say I can introduce myself. I hear that four or five times over instead of saying. No, I'm good for nothing. I'll just practice it with the next guy who asks me if I can speak Dutch. And I get it. If you're in India and you don't have this chance to speak Dutch or French with uh, people around you because you're not in the right country, then you can make friends online. This is how I did my French as well. When I got to France, my French was already pretty good, and I had my motorbike that I would ride around Bangalore. Uh, I would go from one corner to another for church and life group and all that sort of stuff to meet friends and everything. And I would look at the numbers ticking down in the in the traffic signal. Uh, French numbers are difficult, but for me, I would look at that and say, "This is my opportunity. I don't speak French, but this is my opportunity." 99 99 because it happens once a second and you need to catch up and i would fail over and over again and eventually i'm okay with numbers so instead of giving yourselves excuses that i can't for this that and whatever reason or i'm not good enough and never practicing it i think it goes a long way when you actually put yourself in the boat of practicing something in front of friends and you don't have to do it in the privacy and silos of your bedroom you can do it in, with people around you you can just say even if people don't speak french around you and they say hey this dude speaks french just say something in french it's fine just introduce yourself in french it's fine they are probably going to realize that you're not good enough your accent does not hold up but if you never did it for 10 years you'll still not be doing it second example from a short time ago if someone asks me if i can edit a video i instead of saying i'm no peter mckinnon <laughs> i'd say please don't consider me i'm good for nothing 
I asked myself if I can make HTML code. I tried this and it, I realized I probably need 200, 300 hours of work before I can write a proper script to make a website. So compared to that, yeah, if you have recorded something on your phone or on your camera, just give it to me. I can whip up a quick edit for you and I can do it faster than you because I do this many times many times a week. I don't want to talk myself down again. Hey bro, I'm moving to New York. Can you help me with the move? I realized that you moved to Paris and how did you do that? Maybe I can give you tips about how to apply for a scholarship, how to apply for a visa and maybe some of these guys are translational for your journey to New York. Let's have a chat. And that's far better than talking myself down and being overly humble and almost degrading to my own skills and <laughs> it's nice to just say you can do it it's fine you, you don't need to be quentin tarantino to say i can make videos so if you're on this journey of practicing french and you can't understand 98 percent of what french people say that's fine just practice what you can do already you can introduce yourself you can talk about your week you can tell people about why you're learning french just do that over and over again if someone asks you do you speak french do those three things hey bro my name is josh Je m'appelle Josh, je parle pas très bien le français. Je travaille en informatique, je travaille en, en gestion de données. J'apprends le français parce que je le trouve, je trouve que cette langue, elle est très belle. Can you do that? Just do that over and over again. I had this person who had the courage to ask me, I don't understand how Instagram works, can you, can you walk me through it? And that courage is what it takes to learn anything. You don't need to be the best in that field. We all expect ourselves to be Tiger Woods, but who sets these standards? Do you want to be Tiger Woods and dedicate your whole life to golf? I don't want to do that with French or it's just, it's just there. I don't want to do that with Instagram either. I don't want to be the most followed man on Instagram. I wonder why we expect ourselves to be the world's best, but we do. So when someone asked me, can you help me with Instagram? I was just so blown away with the fact that I don't know how to use Twitter and I haven't asked anyone how to use Twitter, <laughs> but I think I can use Instagram better than Twitter. So if someone, when someone did ask me, I'd show up everything that I'm doing, someone had the courage to ask me, just show them what's the difference between a post, a reel, a story, just because they had the courage to ask me. So if you're struggling with something that is just so humongously big for you, realize that you can never catch up. Just think about people who are 60 or 80 today. They were not born with a phone in their hands. They've not had it in their childhood. They don't speak about it with their friends, but they have, many of them have the courage to use it today. And we as a generation, I think, are speaking ourselves down, even with the skills that we are already good at. Given that I can clearly not understand how Twitter works or how Mandarin Chinese works, I can say I have nuances in Dutch. I, I know how to use Instagram, yeah. If you don't struggle with this over humility issue, good for you. Share this video with someone who does struggle with it. So that just as a reminder that they should stop talking themselves down. But if you do struggle with this yourself, and here's the reminder or uh, the first intervention, stop talking yourself down. Just practice what you like to do. Eventually, you'll be good enough to communicate in French, to make videos, maybe to speak Mandarin Chinese. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Take care of yourselves. Keep learning.